I want to finish lectures uh, about curve fitting uh, and specifically this least square fitting procedure uh, with sort of the general architecture of what you would do in a general setting for curve fitting. Okay? The whole idea behind the curve fitting is to take your data and to assume that you have some function that is parameterized by a number of parameters. We called them A, B, C, or A, B before, but let's just call them C1, C2, all the way up to some C of M. So you get to pick a function. You could pick a line, a parabola. You could pick cosines and sines. There's a lot of different options here about what you might pick for your data. Okay, exponents, sines, cosines. You know, you've that's what you're going to do. And you're going to pick a certain number of parameters that are going to embody that fit. So for instance, the slope of the line, how far offset it is. Or for instance, if you're doing a, a fit to a sine wave, you would pick what is the amplitude of the sine wave, what is the frequency of the sine wave. So what those C parameters model are those, those par parameterizations of the, of, the, of the function that you're looking at. And what your job is, is to figure out what are the best values of those so that this thing can work. You also now have this error metric, this root mean square error, which is now a function of all of these. Right? And in particular, you take your fit there. And you take it minus the actual data points, and this is at each x of k, and you're squaring that. What you'd like to do is minimize that sum. This is your error, and you want it to be as small as possible. The general process that we've outlined here is to say, well, I could do this. Take the derivative for each of these j's, which go from 1 to 2 all the way to m, set it to 0. Okay, that's the process. And what I end up with is a set of m equations. And the problem with the m equations I get out is that they could be, in fact, nonlinear equations. If you, if you pick this to be a polynomial, I'll get an m by m system of equations that I can easily solve using the backslash command in MATLAB. However, if I give you a more complicated functional form, then you're going to get an m by m set of equations that are nonlinear. And in fact, generically, you can't say much about. You hope that there, in fact, are solutions that minimize that. And that's generally true. But there might be many solutions that work, and some of them that are quite wrong. And so part of what you need to do in that case is be a very good guesser about what those values of C are. And if you know how to pick your Cs in a reasonable manner, then it could be that you can actually write uh, an algorithm that converges to the minimum solution uh, with this. So that's the basic outline. You should always have this in your mind about what are you really doing at the heart of everything when you do least square fit. You're picking a function, you're defining this least square error, and then you're finding the way to minimize that error by taking the derivative with respect to these parameters, setting it equal to zero. That is the full process of least square fitting and encapsulated in three lines there. Okay.